My name is Kathleen Lewicki. I'm a second year PhD student at Thayer School of Engineering and I'm working with Professor Doug Van Sitters. My research has been focused mostly on orthopedic biomaterials and biomechanics. I've been looking at the uh, wear of polyethylene that is used for components in total hip and knee replacements to looking at uh, modeling implant bone interfaces in finite element software to determine whether or not uh, a phenomenon called stress shielding takes place, which is what happens when the implant bears too much load and basically then your bone is no longer loaded and you don't have that mechanical stimulus telling your body that the bone needs to be there so then the bone can resorb. So we've been doing some work looking at whether or not different implants can uh, affect uh, whether it's based on geometry or material, uh, the stress shielding of the bone. Uh, so we're trying to prevent any designs that might uh, cause this stress shielding to occur. So we were looking at a couple of different stem geometries for a shoulder implant and determining whether or not the different geometries would share the stress in any different way with the bone, uh, whether one is better than the other or whether or not it could reach a limit where this stress shielding could occur. So I've been doing both experimental and computational modeling, um, currently doing some uh, work to validate my computational model, so that also includes doing some experimental work. So the ultimate goal of the, of the research that I'm doing, really the research of Dr. Vincitor's lab, is really to inform both surgeons and patients and the industries that are creating these implants about you know, potential, either potential failure mechanisms or potential material problems, and then also trying to provide solutions to those problems. So looking at new materials, looking at new ways of assessing biomechanics. Um, it's really a wide range of ways to sort of better the quality of life for the patient as well as give input to surgeons and industry um, on what things are going well and what things are not.